Good afternoon and welcome to Blogger Support for All. My name is Amanda Hoffman and I am the founder of the Facebook group Blogger Support for All. I manage and put blogs on our webpage which is bloggersupportforall.com and we also hold a monthly mastermind session that I host. Now last night one of those mastermind sessions, our first for 2006, was actually on the topic of Pinterest and we were talking around the basics for your Pinterest strategy and growth, gaining more followers. During that session they asked me a little bit more about the Pinterest following and they also wanted to understand about the Pinterest search bar and how to use that to ensure that people can find you. So I promised them I would do a video on that and that's what we're about to do now. So you can see my Pinterest account here in front of the board. You can see my little icon moving around and this is the Pinterest search bar. So they were saying to me how can we use the Pinterest search bar to ensure that our Pinterest boards, which you can see down here, are relevant and able to be found by other people when they're using Pinterest. This board here you can see is called Blogging for Beginners, but originally I had it named as Starting a Blog. Now the reason why I changed it to this name was if I go to the Pinterest search bar and type in Blogging, you can see that there are four different points that come up. There is blogging for beginners, blogging tips, blogging ideas and blogging for money. So I changed from starting a blog to blogging for beginners because I wanted to make sure that my boards were going to be found by my niche and by my ideal audience, which of course are bloggers or people thinking about starting a blog. If you scroll down, when I originally had starting a blog, blogger support Pinterest account never got a show in. Since I have gone ahead and done the keyword search, they are now showing up in the boards underneath as a top three business blogging, blogging for beginners and blogging tools. And this is why you want to make sure you get the topics that you name your boards spot on because people can find you. Let's go a little step further. Last night we had a wedding photographer and he was wondering about how he was going to name his boards that are relevant and people can find him. So I've just typed in the word photography and it comes up with photography ideas, photography tips, photography poses and photography quotes. There's four board names there, all done for you by using the Pinterest search button. If you look down, you can see boards that are called photography and you can see people who are pinning with their names. There's a photographer blogger. And for me, I'm a blogger. I want to make sure that I'm actually following them and I am because they are definitely somebody I'm interested in. So that's how you can use the Pinterest search button. Another area where the Pinterest search button becomes valuable is if you want to grow your follower base and you want to be specific. So say if you're a business person and you're after small businesses. So you can go small business and then you'll get pinners who are actually small business people. Now, interestingly enough, I have an accountant that I know and her name is Small Business Know How Proprietary Limited. So her name, Pinterest account and her business name is Small Business. And obviously enough, when I type in Small Business, her account, her Pinterest account came up. Then you've got Heart Love Always. She's a blogger and she's a small business owner. Now, I want to make sure again that I am following her because she would be relevant to me because she is a blogger. Because social media is a reciprocal environment where everybody likes to network, help one another and it tends to be quite, um, quite positive. 
if you follow people there's a very high likelihood that they may also follow you back and of course that's something that you who's using Pinterest really want to try to achieve as well you want to be able to get them to go ahead and follow you as well and that will also grow your follower base but make sure that when you follow somebody that they are relevant to your niche and that they are relevant to who you're trying to target now I don't have time to go into other avatars in this situation in this talk today but that just gives you a little tip so I hope that's helped you today to find out the relevance of being able to use your Pinterest search bar to be able to name all your Pinterest boards in a manner that people when they're using the search button are going to actually find you. And the other benefit of doing that is Pinterest works in conjunction with Google. So if you can ensure that you're using keywords not just in your board name but also when you click on that and you have a description underneath make sure the description is there don't just have a board with the name take the time and put the description in and also remember that one to two hash hashtags is something that is relevant as well don't have any more than that because you will confuse the search situation and it doesn't look very professional either but you can put relevant hashtags in with the description and again that will help other individuals to find your details because ultimately the reason why you're using Pinterest is not just to find interesting information that you want to be able to access and find but you also want your targeting audience to find you and click through to your website so so if you're a photographer, hopefully you will get some work in the area that you specialize in, in wedding photography. If you are a blogger, hopefully maybe somebody in the media will find you and click through to your website and, and like what they see. Or if you're selling a product like jewelry or clothes, you want to encourage them to click through to your website so they can buy something from you. And that's where Pinterest becomes a wonderful social media tool to grow your business and also grow your influence online. Well, thank you so much for joining this very brief presentation of how to use a Pinterest search bar to be able to improve your Pinterest account. My name was Amanda Hoffman. If you'd like to contact me, you can do so by email at info, I-N-F-O, at blogger support for all.com. Alternatively, you're more than welcome to join our Facebook group. You'll need to invite yourself and make sure that you put through a personal message to me personally and informing me of who you are, what your blog URL is and also what your niche is. Thank you again and have a fantastic, productive and exceptional week.